In this video, uh, we're going to work on this uh, controlling a pump uh, tutorial. Uh, so if you haven't uh, done the pre previous exercises, uh, we can load the starter model uh, from the uh, provided uh, model files. So if you click on this uh, open transportable uh, file button and go to uh, the folder where you downloaded and extracted the ICM tutorial uh, zip file. After you unzip it, uh, you go to ICM folder, ba uh, basic tutorial, uh, ICM basic tutorial. You maximize this, uh, let's make it a little bit bigger. You see under this, uh, we have the RTC uh, starter model. Uh, so you just right click this, copy, and then right click it on your master database, uh, say paste. Uh, just say OK. Uh, and that should uh, get you the starting point. Uh, so if you don't see anything, hit this refresh button. Uh, if you don't see this master database uh, explorer window, go to window, uh, new explorer window that will show, show you this. OK, so now we can get started on this. Uh, so the first one is what we're going to do, uh, open this network. Okay, so this uh, is our network. Uh, so just give you some background of what we're trying to do here. Uh, so as you can see, uh, in this network, uh, we have uh, this branch and then, then uh, it goes through a pump and then it goes into the outfall. So what we're going to do in this exercise is we're going to uh, use RTC to control this pump. Uh, so let's just take a closer look of this area. So if we select this pipe and then the next pipe uh, this pipe and then uh, the next one yeah let's just select these few pipes and, and uh, take a look of, of the profile uh, i've already selected that uh, i'm going to use a new long section uh, as you can see uh, this is our profile let's maximize this so you can see so this node uh, is a white well so you can see uh, it ends with 99 i uh, just remember that so that's one of the important Node what we're going to use. So for this node, I want to control uh, the pump. So this is the pump. You see the pump pump the water from this node to this node. Uh, and we want to use a, a, a real-time control rule to say when the pump should be turned on and off. Uh, let's see uh, what it's doing now. So if we double click on this, uh, you can see this is a fixed pump uh, and the pump will be turned on uh, when the uh, level is 2.7 meters above the invert of the wet well. And then uh, it will be turned off at 1.3. Uh, okay, uh, so you can see, uh, uh, so you can see these are the levels uh, about the uh, about the data. Uh, so it's the absolute value. So you can see there are two lines here. So one is 1.3, one is 2.7. Uh, so not about well, well. Uh, so it's uh, the actual uh, level. Uh, so you can see those are the two lines. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to override this. Uh, we're going to write a new rule and say, okay, you know, I want it to be turned on at this level and this level. So it will be around 1.5. What we want to do is we want to turn the pump on when it is 1.5, and then we want to uh, uh, turn it uh, turn it off uh, turn it off when it's uh, less than 1.5, and we want to turn it on when it's 1.55. Uh, so it's somewhere here. Uh, so remember that that's uh, uh, what we're trying to do here. So let's go back to our tutorial. Okay. Yeah. So uh, as you can see here, uh, let me close this first. As you can see here, uh, we're in the base scenario. Uh, we want to create a, a, a real-time control uh, in a new scenario. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, let's go to network, uh, scenario, create a new scenario. We're going to call that pump control. Okay, as you can see, now it's turning to pump control, and also uh, in the title of this geo plan, it says scenario pump control. So we're in the right uh, scenario. Uh, and next, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start to build uh, the uh, scenario, uh, the uh, RTC uh, rules. So let's see. So if we go uh, window, grid windows, RTC editor. Okay. So here uh, is where we're going to uh, enter this. So for each rule, it has uh, several elements under, underneath it. So what we're going to do is we want to uh, build a uh, RTC for this pump. Let's just give it a name. 
So what are we going to call the pump control for manhole? Uh, so this is the name. Uh, so as I've shown you, the at 99, so that's a wet well. So let's just paste this here. Uh, make sure I removed all the extra stuff. And hit update. Now you can see here. Uh, let me just make it a little bigger. So description updates. Um, just as I showed you, so what we want to do is we want to uh, turn the pump on uh, at one level and turn the pump off at another level. Uh, so to do that, uh, we first we need to uh, set up two range. So one range is if the level in the water, uh, in the wet well, is less than uh, the, the 1.5, the lower range, uh, the pump should be turned off. And if the level is higher uh, than uh, you know the, the range, uh, then it should be turned on. Uh, so we, we need to uh, create those two ranges called higher range and lower range. And after that, uh, we're going to apply rules to say, hey, once you meet this criteria, you need to turn the pump on or off. Uh, so uh, that these are the things we're going to set up. OK, uh, so first we need to uh, insert a regulator. So what are we going to control? Uh, so that's called a regulator. So insert regulator. So uh, the ICM recognizes you know, all the regulator types. The pump is one of the regulator. Uh, so it shows all of them here. Uh, so we hit OK. So you can see we have this fixed pump. We're going to regulate this or control this. And the next, uh, we're going to add a, a new range. So this is a lower range and a higher range. So if I move down here, you can see lower range, a higher range. So uh, for the lower range, we say when the height is above this, uh, you know, uh, from the infinity to this. You can see basically what it says is when your height is less than 1.5 meter, uh, you know, it's lower range where we turn it off. When the height is above 1.5 to infinity, and we're going to uh, turn the pump on. So these are what the, it means. Uh, the interface, uh, it's not that intuitive uh, sometimes uh, when you look at it. Okay, so let's go back and just see how we do that. So the next one uh, we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, right click uh, and we say uh, insert dependent is a range. Uh, so after you do that, uh, it will create a new entry here. Uh, so let's make this a little bigger so I can see everything. Uh, so we're going to call this low range. And it will be the Z. Uh, so it's just the water level above the datum. Uh, and the node uh, here. Uh, so uh, this is a pretty long list. Uh, so you can just type the whole thing here. So just let's just type it 4463-6499. Okay, so then we got this guy here. Uh, and uh, because this one uh, is a lower range, so it's from uh, you know the infinity, negative infinity uh, to 1.5. So you know, just make sure we got this here. Uh, so we got 1.5 here, uh, and just leave this blank. So this will give us infinity to 1.5. So if we hit update and make sure we got that correct. Uh, let's move this. So you can see this is from infinity to 1.5. Yes, this is what we wanted. So the next one, uh, the same thing. Uh, we just add our, a high range. So we call that high range. High range. Uh, exact same setup. Uh, Z. Again, let's just type this 4463-6499. Okay. And then for this one, uh, because we want it from 1.55 to infinity. Okay, let's make sure they look correct. Okay. Yeah, so that's a high range. Once it's above this, we want to turn the pump on. So next, we're going to add those rules. Uh, so to add the rules, uh, again, right click, insert independent. Uh, it's just called rule. Uh, so let's just move this back here. Uh, condition, uh, so this is for the low range. So for the low range, I want to turn it off. OK, so if you say update, you can see the switch off. OK, uh, similarly, uh, for the high range, uh, we just need a new rule. Condition high range. Uh, so when it's on high range, we want to turn it on. Uh, so we can say update. Okay. Uh, so you can see uh, these are you know pretty much everything uh, we need to enter. So make sure you click on this uh, RTC rule and read this. So you can see unless subsequent rules are true, uh, you know if the height above datum at node this is wet wall is less than this uh, 1.5, uh, then it needs to be switched off. If the height above the datum at this wet well is greater than or equal to 1.55, then this pump needs to be switched on. So uh, I found this a lot more useful uh, because this is just plain English. Uh, you can uh, much easier to enter, 
easier for us to understand. So we can turn this off. And then let's validate this model. And then we can save it. I'm going to call this uh, edit RTC for pump. OK. Good. So next, we're going to run this model. Uh, to run it, uh, we can reuse uh, the existing run. Uh, just double click on that. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit small. Let's maximize this. So uh, hit on the uh, update to the latest. You can see uh, what we want to do is a pump control. Yeah, everything here. Uh, let me see if we have everything loaded. Yeah, we also need this. Yeah, wastewater. Everything is correct. Okay, let's hit the run button and wait for it to run. So as you can see, uh, we created a new run here. Oh, it's already done. So let's review the results. Uh, we can just double click, click on this. It will open uh, our run. Uh, in a, uh, as I've shown before, so our goal is here. So let's, again, uh, let's select those for you. Uh, we can select this profile here uh, to see what it's doing. OK, uh, so we have a profile here. Uh, and let's also uh, get some other information if we're interested. So definitely, we would like to see when the pump is turned on or off. Uh, so we can use this uh, graph tool. I'll click on this pump and say uh, pump state. So that's just on and off. So you can see it tells when it's on and off. And definitely, we want to look at the level in the well well. So let's click on this. And we want to see the level. OK, good. So now we have everything we need here. Uh, let's just adjust them a little bit so that we can see everything. So you can see this uh, is our pump on and off. We put them here, kind of like line them up. And then this is a, a, our profile. Let's just readjust this so you can see it a little better. Uh, now we can play it. And as you can see, uh, the pump turned on just a little bit at the very beginning. And then as it's raining, uh, it just the water just uh, climbing up. Uh, you can see there really is not too much water. It took some time for uh, the water to reach there. But you can see it's, as it's climbing up. But really not too much is happening. And I can see this is on and off switch based on uh, the, the pump setting. Uh, but we're not really using that. Uh, as you can see, so this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, we can speed it up a little bit. So we can just move this a little bit here, closer to the pump turn on. You can you can pay attention to here. You can kind of see the pump. Okay, it's pumping up. And you see, it's kind of hard to, to tell, but you know, it's on and off here. So let's just pause it. Uh, you know, one trick we can do is we can uh, adjust uh, the 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 Y. Uh, so we don't want to auto scale. Uh, we want to say uh minimum because we know it's around one and maximum uh, is around two so let's do that so this is easier for us to tell okay so as you can see let's just move it move it back a little bit you can see here uh let's just run it a little bit see that's when it starts so if you hover here it's 1.545 so about 1.5 so once it reaches this uh, the pumps uh, will, will kick kick in so you can see the kicks in. Yeah, then it kicks off as the low point. So you go here. Yeah, it's 1.49. So it's work exactly as what we're trying. We said we want to do instead of following. If we uh, just open the this pump. Oh, uh, the wrong tool. Uh, select. I just want to see uh, what is set up. You can see switch on 2.7 and 1.32. So it overrides this and using the. Uh, RTC rules instead. So that concludes uh, the first exercise.